What is up, YouTube? So today I'm going to be heading over to my home gym today. I know it looks pretty laid out, but uh, the home gym is still open for about another two hours. Uh, in the winter, I honestly have like mixed feelings about this, uh, about the lighting outside. I hate when it's dark at uh, like five o'clock, but I also kind of like going to the gym when it's darker out. I don't know. It's like a mental thing for me. But um, let me push this out a little bit. But um, yeah, no, I, I do like the cold. I just don't really know if I really like the dark at uh, such early times. But um, it's kind of like a, like a mind teaser for me. But uh, anyway, about the workouts. So I'm going to be heading over to my home gym. Like I said, I'm training some chest and side delts today. Uh, the past few chest workouts, I've started with uh, incline dumbbell, but I might switch it up and go back to barbell to start and then incline dumbbell right after. My home gym also has an incline uh, chest press machine, which I might give, out, uh, might give a shot today too. So those three movements are most likely going to be going down for chest. Uh, and I probably will incorporate some uh, pec deck flies. I haven't done those in a really long time. So I'll definitely throw those back into the rotation. Um, so yeah, that's it for chest. And for side delts, my, mach uh, my gym has a really awesome side delt machine. Um, so I'm definitely going to be doing that as well as just some dumbbell lateral raises. But apart from the workout... Uh, today marks the one month since I've started posting and I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. I'm up about like 200 subscribers since I started posting again and you don't, you guys really have no idea how much that means to me. I really absolutely love the gym, working out and bodybuilding and honestly if I can entertain you guys and hopefully inform you guys as well, that would be a dream for me. I just, I, I've really been enjoying filming and uh, just the whole editing and the whole process of it and like being able to talk to the camera and feel like people are watching me. It's just an awesome feeling. So thank you so much for all the support. And um, yeah, I, I really appreciate all of you guys. And I'm hoping that uh, we just keep up the good work. And uh, I just want to stay consistent with YouTube. And I'm, I've been just really enjoying it. So thank you all so much. I really appreciate it more than you all know. But um, yeah, I'm going to just head over to the gym now. And uh, go slam some chest and side delts. I'll see you inside. All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is the first work set of incline barbell. I uh, dropped the weight a little bit this week. I normally do 205 to 225 for my work sets, but 185 felt all right for today. I am uh, in the middle of a mini cut that my coach has me on, and I'm definitely starting to feel a little bit weaker due to the lack of uh, carbs that I'm having and um, due to losing about 14 pounds so far. But um, honestly, with how like warming up felt, I did 205 for like a few feeler reps. And honestly, I just didn't feel like it was in the cards for me today. So I just made a um, intuitive decision and just said to myself, you know what, there's no point in really pushing too much weight and, and risk injury. So I just lightened the weight to something that felt good and I controlled it for as many reps as I possibly could. So I did 185 for, I believe, nine and a half reps. I had to bail on the uh, lower pin and then I dropped it here to 155. Again, strength wasn't there today, but I didn't let it get to me. I just went nice and slow and controlled with some lighter weight and just did as many as I could. You could see on these, I uh, really go all the way down to my chest, get a real nice stretch, and then press up. Uh, again, really just trying to focus on that full range of motion. I am not fully locking out my arms, though. I feel like when I fully lock out my arms, all that tension is just on my elbows and not really on my chest. So I try to do about a 99% lockout just to keep all that tension on my chest the entire time. So I'm now moving into some inclined dumbbells. I got the 80s today. Um, again, wasn't feeling my strongest, so I didn't really push as much weight as I usually do. Just again, with these, try to do them nice and slow and controlled. I did two sets on incline barbell, and I believe I did two sets on incline dumbbell. I only recorded one of the incline dumbbells, though, being this set. I believe I got about, um, uh, I think eight reps with the 80s today, but I was really happy with how these felt just, uh, really, really nice and slow and controlled. The, uh, abs the, bleh. The muscle contraction that I got on these were really, really good. I was just able to feel my upper chest get really fatigued the entire set. Finished off with some partials, and I believe I do a drop set for this set. I think I dropped it to the uh, 45s. And you'll see the form on these is actually a bit different. I 
don't really try to fully lock out. I just really try to do some like mid rep partials just to really target that upper chest the entire time. Again, constant tension is key. You don't want to hold it at the top or bottom for too long. You really just want to keep the ch uh, keep the tension on the chest the entire set. Just really trying to get as much as I can out of the chest. All right, now moving into the incline uh, chest press machine. I'm not a huge fan of this machine at my gym. I think the handles are a bit thick. And uh, I just, honestly, the grip is enough for me to really not like it too much. It just kind of messes with me a little bit. But uh, for today, it felt really, really nice. I decided to do the uh, closer grip, um, and it felt pretty good. Uh, again, I'm not fully locking out at the top, just so I can really get a nice chest squeeze. And you'll see me take it down nice and slow, get a slight stretch, and then pop right back up again. Um, being that I don't really like this machine too much, it actually felt really, really nice today. Uh, and I'm really happy about that. It, I'll probably end up throwing it into the uh, chest workouts every now and then. Now I'm just finishing off with some partials. Now finally doing some uh, pec deck. I haven't done this machine, I think, at all since I started recording. It used to be a staple for me, but uh, then I wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit and uh, do some different variations of flies, but definitely going to start to bring, uh, sorry, definitely going to start to bring some uh, pec deck back into my chest workouts. Today it felt really, really nice. Um, some mental cues that I do with this is I try to have a slight bend in my arms, but, um, I really like to try to almost have my inner elbows touch. And with that, and with thinking about that, it really, really activates my chest. And again, I'm really trying to get a good squeeze in the middle, but even when I can't bring my hands fully together, I still try to squeeze out a few partials. Again, I like to go nice and slow and controlled on these, really feel the stretch and the squeeze. I don't like to throw around a lot of weight on it. I just think flies are one of those movements I'd rather control rather than really throw around a lot of weight. Now I'm honestly just finishing up with some push-ups. Doing them nice and slow and controlled. Getting a nice stretch at the bottom. And getting a real good squeeze at the top. I believe I do a rest-pause set for these. And all a rest-pause set is, is um, it's basically a set comprised of two different mini-sets. And um, you go to failure for the first one, and then you rest about 20 seconds, and then you go to failure again after 20 seconds of rest. I normally do them with three uh, like mini sets in the one set, but I've been kind of just doing two for now. It honestly feels good, uh, and it keeps the volume a little bit lower. I don't really want to have a full like 30 rep set sometimes, so that's, by the time I'm done with the two mini sets, it's right around the amount of volume that I'd want. So now I'm just resting a little bit. Sorry if this is a little boring to watch. <laughs> but uh, go right back into my next uh, mini set right now. I believe I only got about three or four reps. But again, I'm still trying to keep a nice tempo. I'm not going to go too fast. Really trying to get a really, really good chest contraction. It's very easy to target your front delts and triceps in push-ups. So I was really just trying to focus on targeting my chest the entire time. Now moving into some side delts. I uh, started with some dumbbell side raises today. I did five sets over here. Now, if you've seen my past few chest and side delt workouts, um, workout videos, you'll know that I uh, train side delts pretty similarly each time. I do as many full reps as possible with a lighter weight, getting a nice squeeze at the top and bringing them down slow. And then once I'm finished with the full reps, I grab a heavier, a set of heavier dumbbells and I just spam some partials. Now you might be thinking, aren't you tired already from doing full reps with a lighter weight? Why would you go to a heavier weight? And honestly, I just think it feels really, really nice. I mean, you're obviously going to be stronger with partials because you're not doing the full rep. So I feel like I can push a little bit more weight. And with doing partials, just having that slight squeeze even midway through the rep with heavier weight really, really fatigues the side delts. And you'll see, I'm kind of using momentum to keep them going. And traditionally, I wouldn't want to do this, but just give these side delt uh, workout a shot and you'll know it feels phenomenal. Um, it's just a really, really good variation I like. Now moving into some uh, side delts on the uh, side raise machine. These felt really, really nice too. I kind of got the heavier weight lifting uh, for side delts done with the dumbbells. So now I'm going really, really light, 
slow and controlled on these. And you'll see I don't really take the weight down all the way. I really just try to keep it in that targeted zone. Get a really nice squeeze at the top, bringing it down nice and slow, and then coming right back up again. Constant tension on the side delts and any muscle that you're training is key to have them grow. But uh, yeah, I'm finishing up with some partials here. These felt really, really nice. I hope you all enjoyed the workout. I'll see you back in the car. Peace out. What is up, everybody? So I just wrapped up my chest and side delt workout. Uh, just a little backstory before I explain the workout. Um, the first week of October, my coach uh, said we're going to start a six-week mini cut. Um, so I'm kind of close to the end now. I think next week is actually the six week mark, but at the start of the cut, uh, like at my heaviest weight, I was 219, 220 ish. And now I'm down to like 206. So I lost about 14 pounds and I'm definitely tightening up by like my stomach and I'm definitely getting a little bit more defined, which I'm really, really happy about. But with all of that being said, the strength is definitely dropping. Um, and I picked up on it during incline barbell today. It just didn't feel strong, you know. And honestly, the past couple weeks for incline dumbbell, um, like the strength I felt was pretty good. I did the hundreds for, I think, eight reps for both times. But I don't know. It's just I feel a little like weaker. You know, I, if you've ever bulked and then cut, you'll know what, I'm, you, you, you know what I mean when like you just don't feel as stable. You feel a little shakier. Um, but at least that's what I'm feeling. And, uh, like I caught onto it and in my head, I said to myself, why am I going to push, uh, why am I going to try to push heavy, heavier weight when it's just not in the cards for me? So I took today as a, as the opportunity to go pretty slow and controlled. And again, I didn't just say, oh, I'm not strong. I'm not going to push myself. I still pushed myself, but I just made the reps harder by going slower and controlled and went a little bit lighter. But I am definitely feeling the weight loss because my strength is definitely decreasing a bit. But um, again, it's not something I really am going to really be too upset about. I'm not a power lifter, so I'm not going to like care about how strong I am on a given day. Um, I'm just trying to go for a pump, you know, and honestly, the biggest part in bodybuilding is being able to make decisions quickly or like um, not really quickly, but being able to make um, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Uh make intuitive decisions, you know, like you have to think about the end result, you know, like you really don't want to get injured in anything that you do, but you want to just make the right decisions for the best outcome, per, uh, to say the least. And that's not really just the case for bodybuilding. I guess that's the case for everything. When you think about it in terms of the gym or any sport, you know, like if your ankle hurts and you need to play football, you might as well tell your coach that way you don't injure yourself even more. So I guess it's like that for any physical activity. But um, for me, at least with bodybuilding, the end result is to get the best possible pump, you know? So if I could push heavier weight to get a great pump, I'll do that some days. But if that's not in the cards for me, then I'm not going to force it to be because that's how injuries occur. So, um, you know, if it, so if I'm not feeling strong, I'm not going to just say, oh, fuck, I'm like, I'm not strong today. I'm just going to quit. You know, I just got to make a good decision on and like reanalyze what I need to do you know, drop the weight and just do more slower and controlled reps. So that's basically what I did today. Uh, and the pump was phenomenal. The chest burn was great. I did a lot of incline today. I did three, yeah, three incline pressing movements and then one flat, like mid chest fly movement. And then I finished off with just some push ups, which um, honestly felt pretty nice. Um, just finishing with just some body weight push ups, just going real slow and controlled and really trying to just push with my chest and nothing else. Like, try to really just uh, target the chest on the push-ups and no front delt or triceps. But, um, yeah, honestly, great chest workout. And then for side delts, I had the same mindset as I always do. As many full reps as possible and then increase the weight and do some uh, partials with some heavier weight. And that might sound crazy, but give it a shot. The pump that you get from it, the soreness that you get from it, and the fatigue is phenomenal. So really give those a shot. Obviously, pick a weight that you can that you're not going to hurt yourself with. So it all always comes back to just trying not to get injured, but pushing yourself, but still pushing yourself, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, but, uh, right now it's about 10 15 and I still got two more meals to eat. So I better get in now and 
eat my last two meals for the day. These two don't have any carbs, sadly, <laughs> but uh, it's all right. Um, what else do I have to say? Hmm. Tomorrow's a rest day, and uh, I'll see you all in two days. Well, I'll see you. Well, yeah, what the fuck am I saying? Yeah, tomorrow's a rest day, so I'll see you next time for back and rear delts. Peace out, guys.